Thank you, Bolka. May this gentleman please give it up for his young performers. Let us applaud our Shakespearean actors. Take a take our beautiful comedy lightly as the title of our next segment. This segment is particularly special because it gives to us a very bright student. And this accomplished graduate of a school, Amit Chetu, who has become a published author at the center age of 10 years. Amit Chetu was born in New Delhi, Padwan. Amit Chetu was born in New Delhi and lived in the foothills of Himalaya in Padwan, which is Sandy. He is a student of class 6 in the Khan International School, Padwan. A regular winner of schools, declamation and elocution competitions. Avec expresses himself fearlessly as well. Avec is white hat junior, purple hat coder, and can seamlessly create apps and games. When not coding, Avec becomes a sous chef to his mother, helping her prepare stir fried chicken and pasta at home. An admitted football fanatic, he feels to football by playing football in his school and with his friends. His favorite player is the coach, Lionel Messi, and his favorite club is the Barcelona. Avec is a published author who is full of wit and uses words in an amusing and clever way. He likes playing board games like Scrabble and Othello. He is an avid reader as well. Avec derives all his inspiration from his elder brother. The characters from the story are inspired from his life and the people he is surrounded with. We welcome you, Avek. Avek Chiku clearly shows us that there is no minimum age requirement to sit at the author's table. From epic fantasy to football, from culinary delight to haikus, this young writer has some brilliant ideas to share with the world. And we can't wait to hear them all. May I also ask that this part will be moderated by Taji Bird of Class 6. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the young prodigy, Alex Tiku and our vibration coordinator, Taji Bird. Good morning, everyone. I am Taji Bird. The moderator of the session welcome you to today's party, a magical conversation with Avin Tiku. Avin Tiku is a literary prodigy and I am thrilled to have him engaged with me today and discuss his public story, Donde Sagoha, in Little Bits of Magic. Welcome Avin. Thank you, Tashi. First and foremost, can you give us a brief overview of a public story, Donde Sagoha? Um, first of all, my story title, Donde Sagoha. Translates to Where is Boa in English. It is a tale about a great footballer who misses a few days of training, then a few more. It was nothing like him. Everybody was in shock. The police started an investigation, but they just had a bulletin board with no strings attached. But due to a die-hard jeweler named Carlos, who was in the police, he really helped in the case and helped him solve the case. And my story is about was he kidnapped, did he leave football or was he murdered and if so, who did it? I know I'm leaving you on a clear final but to know more, you've got to read my story, Donde Esta Boha. Donde Esta Boha is truly a tale absorbing. Now tell me, would it be correct to say that the game of football is almost a character in a story? And also tell us your fascination with that sport as it's evident in your writing. Uh, no, I never really tried to use football as a character in my story. It may have just sounded like that because of my crazy obsession with it. Yeah, but if you talk about my fascination with it, I am really fascinated with it because according to me, football has everything and interesting thing needs to 
to her last minute stump, drama, suspense, mystery and revenge. Also, football can be seen more in my writing because this is my area of expertise and I think that if I write on it, I can make my stories even better. Well, that sounds very interesting. So now tell me, Avik have published two of his stories within a span of 20 years, I'm correct. So, what made you start writing? Ever since I was little, my elder brother has inspired me a lot. And last year when his book got published, that is since ever I wanted to write my own story. Since then I worked very hard to keep on writing and become like him. Beautifully expressed Avik. Tell me, how do you balance school work and your passion writing? Uh, at first I wasn't very good at balancing both of them. There were some days when I was just writing and there were some days when I was just studying. But these days I try to plan. Of course you can't plan everything. But always try to plan what you can. After all, if you can control the future, you are great. Amazing! I can see that you are quite adept at the art of striking balance between your passion and school life. What is like what type of questions do you ask this viewer self when you are writing a story? Could you give some of you know the guidance to our audience? Um, when I'm writing a story, the first thing that I do is choose a main character. And to choose a main character, I always imagine myself as the main character. The main character depends on what I am feeling. And I always uh, remember the three question formula. What, who, when and where. If I follow these four questions in my stories, I can easily create a good story. And the simplest key to creating a good story is to always imagine yourself as the protagonist or as the character that you most like in your story. That's fascinating. So how do you create your main character? Just like I said in the previous uh, previous answer, I always imagine myself as the main character. For me, in my stories, the main character is the most important one as all my settings, all the other aspects of writing a story are based on my main character. Whether the setting should be there or here, it is all based on the main character. After all, the main character sets the mood and tone of the story. Well, that's extremely informative of it. I will surely utilize these points next time I sit to write a story. So now moving ahead. Let us not focus in your writing habits. What do you like to do when you're not writing? <laughs> when I'm not writing, I'm generally creating a fuss in my house. That's really interesting. <laughs> but other than that, I love to cook food. I'm a professional scrabble player. I love to play football. And I love to read books and watch TV. Well, you read the books as always. But these talents are going to block my mind into pieces, I must say. So what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I love to read fantasy books because according to me, fantasy is a thing that you don't generally see in real life. All the magic, all the spells, they're really interesting and I know that I would ever be able to do them in real life. So to imagine them is what really sparks my interest. You're a boy of many talents, I must say. Last but not the least, do you have any writing suggestions for your friends? If so, what are they? Um, just like I said in my previous answers, writing is just a free flow of your mind. Never burden yourself with anything. Always just be yourself while writing. Writing is a canvas and your words are a paintbrush. Always remember that you, yourself, have the power to change the story. No one else does. Always just be yourself. Thank you, Avik. With that, we come to an end of a question of the round. But before we end, can we have a big round of applause for Avik? <laughs> now, I have a little surprise for you in the form of a thrilling rapid fire round. Are you ready to give some of your honest answers? <laughs> yes, I am. Praise yourself then. Here I go. Board games or video games? Video games. English or math? English. Win a race or win a debate? In a debate. Spelling beer match. Match beer. Poem or story? Poem. Recent history or ancient? Uh, recent history. Smartest 
person in the world or richest person in the world? Smartest person in the world. See the future or change the past? Um, change the past. <laughs> Time machine or magic wand? Uh, magic wand. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Cookies or brownies? Brownies. Winter or summer? Summer. Puppies or kittens? Puppies. Out of space or bottom of the sea? Out of, out of space. Halloween or Christmas? Halloween. Ninjas or pirates? Ninjas. <laughs> iPad or TV? Uh, iPad. Wow, that was fantastic. Can we have another big round of applause? <laughs> well, okay, I had a great time sharing the stage with you today. And I hope you do save it every moment of it. Thank you, Abhi. You truly are a wonder child and an inspiration to all of us present here. I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. We are continue writing passionately and bring value to the world through your words. Thank you, Tashi, and thank you as well to the audience.